Hello and welcome back everybody to this little bit of a mail call. So what we got here is a mystery box. I kind of know what's in it from the video that I saw, but uh, as you see the sticker right next to it, it is from Vendetta Prospecting. And then I got a little sign here. It says, the Chief Mine Mineral Specimen, Vail, Arizona. So I can't say this mostly myself, but are we calcite or calite? I don't know. Calcite, chrysocolla, malachite, molybdenite, <laughs> rosacite, smith, <laughs> night, man. I am horribly butchering these names, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, so, this was collected by Mike Vendetta on April 23rd, 2023. He came out to Vail, went out to the mine and got these specimens that he sent out to his Patreons. And this is awesome. I can't wait to see what's in here. Uh, the box can't even close all the way. So let's take a look. And this is my first opening. Uh, so you're seeing it right along with me. All right, so one, two, and three. Ooh, look at that. Okay, oh, that is sparkly. Do you see all the sparkles? That is looking really nice. Oh, um, this is pulling the cotton up here. Oh, wait, 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 there's more. There's something stuck to that on the bottom. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Look at that. That's a silver vendetta round. And if I'm not mistaken, this is a silver that, from the mine that he went to. Might correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, I think that is. But look at that. That's that is so cool. A, a mini vendetta round. Yeah, some definitely some nice specimens pieces in here. Oh man, look at that. On this side, it's kind of like pale white. You turn around, it gets like this dark browns and sparkly color. That's a, it's a cool specimen box, so I am glad that I was able to get one of these. And of course, a Vendetta around, a little mini Vendetta silver. I'm going to put that right in here, keep it safe, because I don't want to lose that. And I'll have to encapsulate it or something. Uh, yeah, awesome. And yeah, but this piece right here is super sparkly. Uh, looks like some the Chris Cola right here, a little chunk of it. Yeah, nice specimen box. Again, Vendetta Prospecting, thank you very much for that. So we'll put that right here for everybody to enjoy while we, we go on as well. Um, you know, next thing we got in the mail more recently, I think I mentioned this, but we did get a bag of the Money, Mighty Mini Pater from Miller Prospecting. Uh, you know, I'm always trying to tell Dylan, I was like, hey, if you got two, <laughs> let me know if it doesn't sell. It never, it usually never works. Usually this thing sells out pretty quickly, or any bags of painter that he puts out <clears throat> sell out pretty quickly, but I gotta try still, because everyone is a great bag. And I've done the Money Mighty Mini before, and it's a lot of fun. <clears throat> it's uh, really packed in there tight. Man, really tight packed in there. But there's going to be a lot of gold in here, so let me go ahead and just turn on the light and get right into the panning area. So we can get, let you see what kind of gold is in this painter. Alright, here's my pan. I'm going to switch the camera views real quick. There we go. Here's our water. Catch pan ready inside. Alright. And let's go. I don't know how you do it, Dylan, but you really pack that in there. So I'm gonna just do try to do a little bit of it here, about half. Is that gold already? Yep, I re I'm already seeing some nice gold in there. And this in itself shouldn't take too long just for the amount of material. Should be some black sands, and but might be.
be some decent fine gold. But the gold's already popping through. And a good chunk of it. I think I already saw like four or five pieces and I'm barely starting. Ooh, look at that. Do you guys see all that gold? That is super bright and shiny. And there's some, whoa. Whoa. Oh, look at these chunkers. I'm gonna snuffer all this up. And then you know, do a bigger snuffer dump. Actually, I'll clean it up a little more. gold from every category it looks like some nice fine gold some, definitely some bigger gold medium size everything and this is just half the bag I think he made a couple bags that are really extra nice uh, if I'm not mistaken this might be one of them did I luck out and hit the, the, the little jackpot here or my my mind's just playing with me, or my eyes. All right, let's see. Does that in itself look like almost a gram? All right. Like there's some gold mica in here that's trying to trick me into thinking that it's gold. But we'll still do a little bit off the side here. Not seeing any more. Okay. And then let's see. Alright, we got the last bit of it here. I'm gonna open up the bag too, just a little bit more so I can really get it, all this out. here. Definitely got to tear all this apart. There we go. Alright, next round. Let's see what we got. Maybe all the gold was a sin on the top half and then it wasn't much on the bottom half. Maybe that's why it looked like there was so much. But I'm seeing gold already coming through. So it's looking promising. Looks like there's a good amount of gold coming through. Yeah, that's that's a nice bit of gold. Yeah, this definitely is a mighty bag. snuffer this up with the rest of it um, it's not wanting to snuffer up clean it up just a little bit more See if I can get maybe it was not enough water. No, nope, definitely. 
in one piece, not wanting to be snuffered. And it's, it's large, flat flakes. So let me put that off to the side. And get the rest of this little bit here. All right, we got it. So let's just see if I missed anything out of this batch here, the second half. I don't think I did, but you never know. Yep, one little piece is left over. Dump that snuffer bottle and see what kind of gold we got in here. And just put some water into here because I want to make sure I clean that all nicely. Stuff to the bottom and some nice pieces too. Right, I don't hear anything else. I'll do one more for good measure. That's just pretty good right there. Pretty nice and clean. I'll clean, I'll clean, let finish cleaning it up and show you what the all the way it is. But <clears throat> don't want to forget my little picker here, the flat picker. There it is. So that's the goal that we have. So I'm gonna weigh this up, see what came out of it, and then go from there. So stay tuned for the close-ups.